morning. Welcome back. Today is Saturday. I don't know. I just feel so tired. We ate like a homemade pizza last night and I went to like a carb coma and I just passed right out. But today, I think I'm going to go to yoga. See if there's room in the class. Usually like our Saturday morning routine is like I go to yoga. Matt takes Sage to like like a playground and stuff and they play and get some sunshine and then he'll usually do his workout on Sunday morning. So we both get to do a workout on the weekend. But today I'm excited because I'm gonna finally tackle this kitchen. We've been in this house for like two months now. I don't know, I'm, I'm losing track of time. But we've been in here long enough that I need to organize this kitchen. It's kind of a hot mess. I'll show you guys a little bit of a before, but I wanna organize the kitchen. I wanna clean out my closet a little bit and just get things organized. Like I have a ton of containers to like label and make all cute and Pinteresty. Cause right now there's just like bags of stuff like overflowing and it's not cute. It's just not. Also, I'm very excited for today's video. It's sponsored by Vivaya and they make the most beautiful, sustainable shoes. Like I'm in love and I cannot wait to show you. I did like a little sneak peek the other day on Instagram. The amount of messages I got, like where are those shoes from? Well, I'm about to tell you. I got four of them and they're beautiful. And yeah, well, oh my gosh, she's gonna jump off the couch. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, I have been killing it with the reels lately. So many cute ones, uh, lots of sagey in there. And yeah, come follow me. Oh, and TikTok too. I'm, I'm on TikTok and I actually just had like a video go viral for me and I was like, oh, finally, finally. Honestly, is it bad if I just have a couple scoops of yogurt and half of a chocolate chip cookie I made yesterday? We gotta go in like 15 minutes and I'm just like not feeling like making anything. <laughs> hmm. Cookies for breakfast, why not? No one else eats this yogurt but me. I can't work out on an empty stomach. <laughs> Oh, you got a lot of sun. Okay, I don't know how I get that every time. Perfect amount. I've just been making smoothies for too long. I forgot ice. It's good, it's just not that cold. I like it really cold. All right, so I'm back from yoga. I'm just gonna have some smoothie because that cookie did not fill me up. And I'm gonna show you before what my kitchen is looking like right now. Okay, let me show you what we're working with. All right, let's start with the main cupboard. That is really bad. This one here, it's kind of a mix of things. We have some cups. <laughs> there are glass cups behind here. It's gotten really bad. Okay, <laughs> we have bugs. And then up here, you know, I tried. I got one of these like little step things, a Lazy Susan. I have all of like my flowers and dry goods up there. And then I have containers that really need stuff in them. Then we have this side cupboard, which is kind of like Sage's snacks and stuff. And then extra like cups and bowls and stuff for like camping or just when kids are over. But it's a lot of wasted space. So I'm gonna figure that out as well. This is like one of the only organized sections. Actually, no, there's a couple, but this is all Sage's like food, utensils, cups and bowls and all that kind of stuff. We use that cupboard a lot. All right, the other really bad one that has like no purpose. Once again, it's a mix of groceries and Tupperware and stuff and glasses and containers. I don't even know what's up here. More containers that are empty. So that needs to be fixed. This one here is like my tea cover and mugs and stuff. So that one's not bad. I just have to clean it up a little bit, but I have all my like teas and stuff in there. This one's like oils and vinegars and then some other random stuff up there. And then we have the spices, which I do have a system. I'm actually gonna do a TikTok on it, um, on how I organize these, but that's what it's looking like. It just needs a little bit of a cleanup. But as you can see, we have like dry goods on the counter. It's just a mess. And stuff also ends up in that cupboard as well. That's like our pots and pans. I feel like I don't have space, but I think I'm just not utilizing my space in the cupboards right. That is overview of my messy kitchen. This is the stuff I hide when I'm filming. <laughs> And yeah, so I'm gonna drink this and then we'll go upstairs, get ready, 
and then come back and tackle this. All right, I just finished getting ready, doing my makeup, brush my hair, and I'm in my room because uh, part of my organizing today is clearing out the closet, getting rid of things that I just find myself not really wearing and I can either donate or give to like a friend or family member that I know is gonna give it some love that it deserves. Cause honestly, sometimes you're just like, I'm not wearing that stuff and it gets lost in the back of your closet. I have this huge <laughs> vacuum seal bag um, that I'm just storing like all of the things I'm not really wearing right now um, that are more for like colder weather. So I'm gonna add a few more pieces in there. I'm also pulling out pieces that are like staples in my closet that I wear all the time so I can put them to the front of the closet. And in doing so, I've been putting some fun outfits together because I really want to talk about today's sponsor, Vivaya. They are a sustainable shoe brand. And let me tell you, I do not say this lightly. They are my new favorite shoe company, and I am so picky when it comes to shoes. I'm all about comfort. I still want them to look really cute. I want them to last, be good quality, not fall apart on me. There is nothing more annoying than buying a cute pair of shoes and then you wear them and you find that they're actually uncomfortable. All of their shoes are made from recycled materials and even their packaging is made from 100% recycled cardboard. They come beautifully packaged, the colors are beautiful, and they come in the most beautiful styles and they're very chic and feminine. And honestly, there's something for everyone. Their shoes are super flexible, lightweight. They have great traction, so they're not like slippery when you walk in them. Perfect for travel, um, just because they are really lightweight. So if you're throwing a bunch of them in your suitcase, it's not gonna weigh it down a lot. And look at these designs. I think this one might be my favorite one. And can we talk about the colors? Look at this beautiful mustard yellow and this pale turquoise. Like. I'm obsessed. This one here even comes in this lavender color that is absolutely gorgeous. And they're not just pretty, like I said, they are so, so comfortable. They're specifically made so that your foot actually fits nicely into them and doesn't get all squished up in the toe area, which I hate because I actually have wider feet. So that is not comfortable. I do find these fit a little bit small, so definitely size up a little bit and they will fit perfect. I know I'm gonna be quickly growing my collection because they are absolutely beautiful. And then they also have these really cool ones here that are actually from their hemp line these are the first ever hemp shoes and look at how beautiful and comfortable they are just super simple comfy flats the soles are so cushiony supportive and they're made from all natural herbal material that is deodorizing and antimicrobial that means they're super breathable and they won't get smelly and fun fact some of their styles are even machine washable which i thought was really cool look at the details that have been thought out like this backing even has cushion if you guys want to try the world's comfiest shoes in my opinion you can use my code healthnet15 for 15 percent off your purchase i'm gonna have a link below to all of the styles that i featured in this video so you guys can check them out shop them and honestly i know you're, you're gonna love them because i'm so picky with shoes and these are beautiful and for definitely my new favorite company and i love like they're eco-friendly and good for the planet too you can shop and do good for the planet like it's a win-win you know so these are just gonna be a part of my staple capsule wardrobe because if you guys know you, you're always asking me like where's that from where's that from but like a lot of times i just wear the same things all the time and i might have like a shirt that i bought like four years ago that i still wear and it's just because i try to take good care of my clothes and really just keep pieces that i truly love and that can mix and match with other things and kind of just like not like something you buy because it's trendy and it's like fast fashion you're buying something that is going to last a long time and you're not going to get sick of like next year so i'm going to clear up my closet a little bit finish packing this resealable bag and then we're gonna head downstairs and tackle that kitchen i'm like procrastinating but it needs to be done so let's do this okay and we're back i think the first thing we should do we as if you guys are helping me right now it's, it's just me i think i should just take everything out because i don't even think i want to put glasses down here like I think this, because we don't have a, an external pantry, I think that is going to be the main pantry. So I got to utilize that space for all the dry goods that I have for like my recipe testing, my baking, all the things that I compile in my kitchen. I'm going to put the glasses over there because I know they're not going back in. All right, now it's time to figure out where everything is gonna go. I have a bunch of these like OXO containers and then I do have some of those silicone like stand-up storage bags in the um, garage. I might go grab some of those. Thinking I can organize it like grains, baking, 
cans, something like that. Okay, I'm trying to look on Instagram for some inspiration. Look at how pretty that fridge is. Some people go hardcore. They have like a whole walk-in pantry. We don't have that, but like, look at, that is goals. It seems like a lot of people use like the clear bins as well, which I do have a box of them. So I have these guys, which I was gonna use for the fridge, but maybe I could also use them for the pantry for like little things. We'll see. Okay, so I have these large stand-up silicone storage bags that I think I'm gonna add in my grains into. I've been wanting to use these for a bit, and then I think like flowers and stuff, I'll put into the OXO containers. And then I'll do one, I think just one shelf for cans. This is dangerous, this is dangerous. Does it fit? Oh my God, I think it, these are huge. These are hefty size bags. Wow, that fit a lot. One. All right, so if you remember from my last house, I had this like open pantry in our dining room and I forgot I had, I mean, I didn't forget. I just like today, I forgot um, that I have all of these canisters with these wooden lids and I have more of these than the like pop-up OXO containers. So I'm just trying to figure out cause like we may get an open pantry here. I just don't know. And I kind of just like want to keep like less things for Sage to climb on out of the house. So I'm just trying to play around with these and see if I'm going to move around some of the stuff. Basically, this is the part that takes forever, like the planning and organizing. This is also the part where you kind of regret even starting because it's a mess and it doesn't look cleaner than I than when I started. I got flour on the floor and all the jars, all the food out. These are all the bags that I'm saving so I can write down the expiration dates on the bottoms of these. This is what we got so far. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look cute, but also work. I also want to utilize this. So I might put stuff that I don't use all the time, like higher up and then put Sage's snacks down at the bottom. This one has been kind of cleared since I was pulling out all the containers, but the glasses are there and it's just kind of a mess, you know, but it's a work in progress. Okay, there is a bunch of mess here, but it's looking really, really good. I can't wait to show you guys and I have so much room to add stuff like I was trying to find more like dry goods to fill up the containers. There's room to grow. Also, Seiji woke up and she wants her milk. Sure. Yeah. Can I say hi? Sure. Yeah, look, mommy's organizing your, your little uh, snack cupboard. We're actually low on Sage's snack, so I'm leaving like her cabinet pretty bare because I know like what foods I usually get for her. It's looking good. It's looking good. I was worried for a sec, <laughs> feeling a little overwhelmed, but I'm like pretty much, I'd say I'm at least halfway done because I know near the end, the cleanup part is always like, takes time. Is that your new pot? Sage got the cutest new like kitchen and fridge set and I'll show it in another vlog, but it comes with like, got little pots and pans. Hey, yours, yours is all organized. You don't have to do anything. Hi. Yeah. Playroom's not done yet, so we won't show you too much of that. Back to back to organizing. Okay, so what I did here is I actually put a large Lazy Susan. I had to lift one of the shelves to get it in, like diagonally, because it wouldn't fit through the door. And I don't know yet what I'm gonna use it for, but I thought it was smart to put that in there. So I think the bottom shelf is gonna be for cups. The mugs literally just fit. I was almost gonna have to donate one. This is what it looks like. All mug arms and feet need to be in at all times during the ride or else they hit the back. <laughs> Ooh, how cute is that? So I got the glasses, like our everyday stuff down there. I have wine glasses here. I'm gonna put all of our mason jars up here because we have a lot of them. And then this is just like back stock of things that we have doubles of or we don't use that often and aren't opened. Ta-da! 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe I thought I was gonna need a second day to finish because I was feeling a little overwhelmed halfway through but I finished. There's still room to grow too, which I love because I hate when I organize things and it, everything just fits. And you know, if you add one more thing, it's gonna like mess everything up. So I'll do a little tour and I can show you everything I did. I still do have to do the fridge, but I think I'm gonna do that as a separate video because that's a beast in itself. And if you guys want me to do a full kitchen tour after I'm done everything, leave me the like fork and knife plate emoji in the comments down below and any other like kitchen organization videos um, that you wanna see. Um, but yeah, let me show you what everything looks like because it's so fresh and like the before and the after is insane. That's all I'm saying. Okay, we'll leave the best to last, but this is the corner one. So I got just like extra stuff up there. I got my my four sad wine glasses that haven't broken. Let's get on the step stool. I got my mugs on the Lazy Susan. I got some measuring cups there. I have our drinking glasses. And these are just kind of our mugs that if guests are coming, I have a few of the same ones. These are more of our like morning coffee mugs or like my tea and herbal coffee mugs. This one, I'll just show you. I ended up clearing this whole space down here because it had mugs and I moved it to that one. So I just have room in this Lazy Susan. I ended up like putting things like bouillon cubes and just like getting rid of packages. Like those are some natural food sprinkles, some extra packaged goods there. And that's that. Like that could be organized a bit, but anyways, it's pretty good. Spices are looking really good, nice and clean. It may not look that different, but I did organize them. And I have like more space behind there too, which is great. Also, I was able to put our glass containers in this section here. There's some more in the dishwasher. And then I have like our, um, what are those called? The cutting boards and racks down there. And then I just put this, I'm giving you guys a full kitchen tour. Okay, that's for another video. Okay, I really like how this turned out. I have one of those large silicone stand-up bags there for a Sage's cereal. And then I ended up using these clear acrylic containers um, just to organize loose stuff. And honestly, we're like low on Sage's snacks. I usually like to have it more packed so we aren't low. Um, those are our snacks, not hers. Applesauce, she doesn't really care for it. I use it more for baking. So that's what's going on in here. So it's similar, but more organized. And then the grand finale. Ah. <laughs> okay, so we have the stand-up silicone bags up there. Uh, just some extra pasta and popcorn. I have these glass canisters with the wooden lids. Um, I will link where these are from down below. But I just have like flowers and oats and chocolate chips, breadcrumbs, pasta. Lots of empty containers here to fill up. And some things I'm just low on. And then down here, I have some canned goods. This isn't all of my canned goods. I have some more in another cupboard. And then I just have a, like, honestly, I love Lazy Susans. <laughs> I have a small one here of just unopened jars so I can see what I have. Yeah, I just think it looks really visually pleasing and more organized. And honestly, I have way more space now. Sage has been with daddy all day. It's like, oh, look, we're both wearing stripes. So that mommy could finish this. And honestly, I feel so good getting this done. Like, I cannot recommend organizing a space in your home that's just been like bugging you bye thanks so much again to vavaya for sponsoring this video seriously go check out their shoes they are beautiful they are comfortable you will not regret it you guys can use my code healthnet15 to get 15 percent off links down below for all the shoes i mentioned and just to their website you guys can check them out follow them on instagram and thank you so much for watching i post here every single week so if you liked today's video make sure you subscribe down below it's free you can also follow me on tiktok and instagram i'm actually going to do like a full before and after on tiktok so if you guys want to see that and see other fun videos definitely follow me there and that's it okay I'm done. I'm done. I just gotta take out the trash now and we're good. Let's say bye. Bye. See, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. That's her favorite thing now. See you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. I will see you in the next one.